Welcome into sports, everyone. We are right in the heart of high school spring sports seasons, and the first AIA rankings are now out. For boys baseball in 6A, Cibola comes in at number 20, San Luis at number 26, and the struggling Gila Ridge Hawks sitting at 37. In 5A, the Copa Kings are all the way up at number 4. In 4A, the up and down Yuma Criminals are at number 28. In 3A, Yuma Catholic's strong start has them at number 4. And in 1A, Antelope is ranked 19th. For softball in 6A, Cibola comes in at number 20, and they're followed by Gila Ridge at number 21. And then San Luis shortly after at number 26. Over in 5A, Copa sits at number 26. And then in 4A, Yuma is at number 36. Over in 3A, the undefeated Yuma Catholic Shamrocks are at number 5. And for 1A, Antelope is ranked 9th. San Pasqual, meanwhile, down at number 25. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these teams. Today, the Shamrocks were looking to take down the Tonopah Valley Phoenix for the second time this week. We begin in the first inning. YC already up by a few. Leonel Alvelar pops up to first base. The first baseman trying to get under it, but he can't find it. And Joey Carey makes him pay by coming in to score from third to make it a 4-0 ball game. Meanwhile, Mickey Fox was dealing out on the mound for the Rocks. Here he is striking out his second straight batter to end the top of the second inning. Bottom of the inning now, Fox at the plate, and he sees this pitch and lines one into the corner. That one gets down, and it'll be extra bases. Ian Zambrano zooming around the backs to come in and score. Ivan Guzman also follows him and scores. Fox, meanwhile, comes in with a stand-up triple. Later in the inning, Hiram Silva lining one out to left field. This one actually going to go over the left fielder's head. Carey will score easily. Silva, meanwhile, goes all the way to third base. Yuma Catholic would just continue to run it up as the Shamrocks go on to take this one by a final score of 11 to 1. Meanwhile, the Lady Rock softball team have yet to lose a regular season game, and they were looking to keep the winning streak going against the Phoenix as well. Starting in the second inning, Autumn Moffitt looks at a pitch inside. Cody Lee catches Tonopah sleeping and steals home. Yuma Catholic leading this one 6-0 after that play. Later in the inning, a pitch in the dirt. That gets by the catcher. Leah Soto sliding in to tack on another run. To the third inning, Alyssa Soto on the rubber for YC. She gets a big swing and a miss for strike three there. To the bottom of the third, Cassandra Reynoso grounding one over to short. Shortstop can't make the play, and just like that, everybody is safe. A few batters later, Moffat grounding one over to short. Reynoso, meanwhile, comes in to score, and Moffat beats the throw at first. Yuma Catholic wins this one big. They take it 17-4. to over to Cibola High School we go. Lady Raiders looking for three straight wins as they welcome in Sandra Day O'Connor for some matinee action. Starting in the bottom of the second inning, Raiders down 3 nothing. Nobody on, nobody out for Juliana Lera, who smashes this one all the way out to the wall in left. Lera makes her way over to second. It's a leadoff double for Cibola. Later in the inning, two outs, runners on second and third. Alana McDonald with a little opposite field work. Right fielder can't take it cleanly. Two runs come in to score. Now just a one-run ball game. Unfortunately, that would be all the offense on the day for Cibola as they go on to drop this one in six innings, 14-2 the final score. 